Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is um, go into how to spawn dynamic objects. So these are things like mineable resource nodes, uh, creatures. Alright, so let's just move that rock back into the level objects. So here we want to create a new empty game object. Um, and let's name it spawner map. So with that selected over on the right, click the add component button and add creature spawn director. Alright, so this controls all of the spawns that predictably happen in the same spot. It has a fatigue on each cell, um, which will make more sense in a second once we start painting them. Um, but the first thing we should do to make our lives a little bit easier is clone the demon's land spawner map. This already has a um, list of all of the objects that are available to spawn um, to save you having to configure them yourself. So if you have a look in the project folder you'll see under demon's land there's a spawn cache. If you drag that into your cache file and then click load you'll see a list of all the ob objects that are spawned using this system. Um, we want to create a duplicate of that by clicking save cache as new. Um, so then let's just browse to our test map folder and save it in there. Okay and now this cache file has a reference to um, the one in our test map so we won't override demons land. Okay, so to use this, you'll notice when I move my mouse around now that um, I'm getting this outline. That's the resolution of the spawner cells. So if I fly up in the air, it's a bit easier to see. Um, so there's an example of one with values in it. Because Demon's Land is much bigger, the spawns are all over the place. Um, so what we want to do first is clear out everything that's already set because we don't want the game trying to spawn objects all the way out there for our test map. So we can do that with this C button. So I'm just going to click C and enter all the way down. Cool. Alright, so let's let's start off by spawning a few. Uh, let's start off with some shiggies. So this button here will select that type of um, spawner. You can have a look at its configuration here. This is just a string um, of the network object. You can't currently create network objects, but hopefully in a future version of the SDK you will be able to. For now. You'll have to stick to this list of items. Um, fastest spawn rate is how quickly they respawn after you kill them for that specific cell. So if I was to place a single Shiggy there on the map, um, he will spawn anywhere within this square. Um, and when you kill him, the one from this square, he won't respawn for 200 seconds. Um, if we want two of them to be able to spawn in there. We can click on it a second time and so on. It keeps getting brighter the more that spawn in there. So that will spawn five. If you hold shift and click, it'll reduce the number back down per click. Um, so let's just paint a few of these in. Okay. Let's so world item flint is the flint rocks that you find on the ground. Let's get a few of them in the starting area. And we'll also put some world item wood, which is the, the little driftwood that sits on the ground. Let's get some logs, which are the larger pieces of wood. Let's make them a little further out. And some iron.
and we'll add some bores out in the harsher regions of our tiny map. Okay. Um, now, it's important once you've finished doing that, you need to click Save Cache. Um, that will write it to this file. Um, anything yeah, anything that you do in this configuration ends up in this binary file. So this is the thing that's important that's stored with the map when it's published. Um, you want to make sure that you don't, if you have multiple maps, that you don't mix up these references because modifying it in one level will modify it in the other level as well. It's not actually stored in the level, it's stored in this file.